Ladies and gentlemen, I did a thing. So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a 2017 Ford Focus ST. I am super excited about this purchase. I am super excited that I can call this my car. I finally have worked hard, I have worked hard long enough to finally purchase one of these things. It is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this front grill. It means business. Business, big, big business. <laughs> this thing has been so fun and awesome to drive in the short time that I've actually had it. I always think of the RCR review whenever, whenever I see this. RCR did a review on this car back in 2014. He says, when you open up the hood, all you see is plastic. And then when you remove that plastic, you get to look at more plastic. When you open up the hood, all you see is plastic. And if you remove that plastic, you get to look at more plastic. <laughs> Ford EcoBoost 2 liter. And it makes about 200, I think the factory rating is 252 horsepower. Man, that wind is, it's a little windy, I apologize, but 252 horsepower, about 270 foot-pounds of torque, going through a six-speed manual transmission, which really for a four-cylinder is really not all that bad. There's the six-speed manual and my coffee. The person who owned this before, before it got traded into the dealership that I work at, did some things to it. We have the, even though it's an ST, he put the RS airbox on it. We do have the monotune air intake tube. Um, it looks as though the sound symposer is still there. He didn't get rid of the sound symposer. I know, I guess that's a thing that people do a lot with these cars. They kind of delete the sound symposer. And it is lowered more than normal. Uh, he's got a set of lowering springs on it. I think he's got a, about an inch and a half drop, which looks fantastic. The car looks amazing. Um, he also did tints. You can see the tints all the way around. I'm actually glad that this is a base model. This is the ST1 because it comes with these rims. These Y-spoke rims look great on this car. For the for the update, I think they did in 2015, they ended up going with an option for like five-spoke rims and they look atrocious on this car but they're they're supposed to be an upgrade but they look atrocious i'm really glad that i have these rims here the the y spoke design it is an st1 unfortunately so that means that we don't have the sunroof we don't have the recaros we just got the regular cloth no touch screen no nav it's a base model but i don't care i don't care this car is so much fun if you go over here we do have the, it is the Borla Ford Performance exhaust on here. It's really nice and mellow. It's throw you when you want it to be. I really, really do like it. So he also did that as well. I'm gonna see if I could get an exhaust shot for you guys here. It's gonna be hard to do. You guys may have to look at the ground. Matter of fact, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna look at the ground real quick. At least just take the audio in, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> this is my car, and I am super proud and excited to have this. Coming from my Cobalt, which you all know and love as Midnight, my base model Cobalt. My base model Cobalt, <laughs> as a matter of fact, it's probably easier for me to tell you what the car did have. The Cobalt had air conditioning and Sirius XM. That's all it had was Sirius XM and air conditioning. and. Ironically, of all the things that this car does have, this car does not have Sirius XM. Unless I get, an, you know, the ST3 radio 
or if I put an aftermarket radio in, or I could probably put a Sirius XM on my phone and run it through the Bluetooth, but. This car is so awesome, it is so fun to drive. I've always wanted just a sporty car. And even as a Chevrolet guy, like I tell you guys, Chevrolet didn't do anything like this with the Cruze. Ford was the one that had the balls to do this with the, for with the, with the Focus and the Fiesta. Boost gauges, that's right, we got the oil temperature on the left, the boost pressure on the, in the middle, and the uh, oil pressure on the right. I've owned it for about a month or so now. I've actually, actually not even a month, probably like three weeks. It's, I took it home Memorial Day weekend. It's today is June 13th. I've had it since Memorial Day weekend. So I am super excited. I can't wait to make more videos about this car. Like uh, it's amazing. I, I love this car. It's so fun, so peppy. Um, Ford got it right. I, I hate that they stopped making these. I, I do. I really, really hate that they stopped making these cars because you know, us Americans apparently don't want small cars like this. We we want big, fat, overinflated SUVs and trucks and and crap. Even though they stopped making this car, Ford stopped making this car here in the United States. This will be a great car. There's a ton of aftermarket support. As a Chevy guy, I dig them. I've I, I I've crossed the aisle. I have. I've crossed the aisle for between Chevrolet and Ford, but. I can't wait to bring you guys more videos. Yeah, I can't wipe the stupid smile off my face. This is gonna be so fun. I know it sounds stupid, but don't ever stop working hard and don't ever stop trying to achieve your goals because this was a goal that I wanted ever since they came to America. When the 2013 Ford Focus ST dropped in North America, I've always wanted one of these cars. It took me seven years, it's 2020, but you know what? We got one now, and I could not be any more happy. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in and taking a look at my brand new car, the 2017 Ford Focus ST that I have now officially decided to name Phoenix. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. If you like what you see, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell and that subscribe button. This way you get notified anytime I put up a video of this car or anything else that I do on my wacky channel, that dude named Dale. Please honor and humbled as always. I'm holding the camera, so I'll just do that. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.